Hi, this is a uh, video to show the use of a homemade boring bar and a tool to cut a circular portion in a block of brass that will be used as a piston valve for a stationary engine. You can see the curvature of that uh, piece and it has to be an exact diameter to match the cylinder that will be soldered to. <clears throat> and this boring bar is made from a piece of one inch um, steel rod and some hardened tool steel for the cutter. Uh, what we'll attempt to do on this first cut is uh, begin the cut. So we'll turn on the lathe and make sure we're... We'll see how this goes. This may be a little rugged on this first go. Actually, we're just skimming it. You can hear it just skimming now. Final cut will be done uh, using the auto feed on here. At this point now, you should be able to see the first cut. Move this around. There's the first cut. You stay in focus long enough. And the next operation is to advance this cutter just a little bit. So there's a set screw in the top. We'll take some better still photos of this later. This set screw opens up and my hand will probably be in the way of this video, but we'll try and do this. And now what we're going to do is just tap the cutter out just ever so slightly. Probably more than it should have been on this go around, but we'll give it a shot. If it's too much, it's going to really chatter quite a bit. You know, it's cutting real nice. And we'll advance it a little bit further on this next cut. Yeah, I can't really see anything with my arm in the way. I'll do it this way. Cutters out just a little bit now. Tighten it up. See how much it's cutting off. At this point, we're almost at the point that we need to be at. Almost extended it all the way out. And I have a depth gauge here, so I can measure how far out it has gone. And we've got just a tiny bit more to go. Just a tiny bit more. Loosen that up. That's probably going to do it right there. So this next cut will be an auto feed cut.
maybe just a tiny bit more on this. Just give this a tiny little tap. Arm is not in the way here. That probably will just do it. And just a little tiny tap. And the set screw. There's the auto feed. I think this cut is just about right. Okay, if you're wondering how I got it this dimension, uh, this piece of metal is measuring exactly 0.996 and the radius that I need to get to is 0 .0, 1.04 and uh, taking into account how far this is sticking out, this needs to come out uh, exactly 1.18 and we are currently at 1.11 so we're still a little shy and probably want to do a little bit more of a cut we'll just tap this out just a tiny bit more that may have done it now let's measure What we're going to do is I'm going to disengage some of these parts so you can see better how they look. Uh, loosen that up. Loosen that up. Notice this is using a um, live center. Slide this out of the way and now move this quite a ways away so you can get an idea of just what we cut. And notice you can see the ports on the uh, valve body and this is the boring bar right here you can see the cutter there's the set screw that holds it in place the cutter goes all the way through um, and you can see the indent I've been measuring from the back of the indent but then to get a, an overall reading measuring the total uh, thickness of the bar and the cutter is what we're looking for once we do the arithmetic anyway this was a homemade boring bar out of a piece of steel and uh, this is the general setup you can see how it worked uh, worked good next operation is to 
mill out the port slots and then solder it onto the cylinder.